Und Hello, and this is our presentation on the impact of government policies. So, uh, yeah, fire and rescue station closures in some areas. Of course, we uh, focused on a more local one, so we looked up a story from BC News, and it's about Red Roof and Camborne both closing their local fire stations in order to build a new one in Camborne. Uh, we have a quote there from the mayor of uh, Red Roof, obviously taken from the interview done on BBC News. Uh, closing the fire station in the town would mean a reduction in the services locally. So this is how it would impact the um, public services. Um, there's many issues that um, could come from this. Um, it can lead to less jobs because, of course, they reduce like they get rid of two of their stations just to build one, like to get one more station, one fire rescue station, which means they have to reduce their jobs by half. Um, it is claimed that moving the station will lead to the fire rescue service getting to fifteen thousand more calls because of the position of the new station that they'll build. Um, the fire rescue service will have to work harder to make sure that they do not lose their jobs because of course there's jobs online. And um, it can also make the police jobs harder as they have to um, secure the area until the fire rescue service get there. Which means if all the um, fire rescue like, officers are out on, one of the, on a call, that um, they'll be busy which means the police will have to do something in, until the um, fire and rescue service actually get there. Of course, there's, uh, there's ways we can talk about there is how it affects the uh, public. So it's, even though it says they can uh, get to 15,000 more calls in 10 minutes moving the station there, it also means you're moving away from other people from the red roof area which they've moved away from, so that can make you know, certain public and people, men, people from uh, over there angry because they might Need, they might be in an emergency and it takes longer to get to them in favour of other people. Where did that um, claim come from about the 15,000 more That's a, a, This was all on BBC. And the, yes, yeah, so this is uh, how target setting standards affect public services. Um, there's financial targets. This will affect every emergency service as they will need to keep to their target, this could lead to a reduction in jobs, less equipment, disgruntled employees due to less money, attendance time and petrol usage, these will impact the emergency services as they will need to get to a call as quick as possible, but will be impacted by patrol usage as there will be certain limit of petrol, patrol that can be used. Should that be petrol then? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just reading off on the screen. Okay, so don't so talk about it rather than just reading off the screen. Um, anyway, the ambulance service wants to answer 75 percent of life-threatening calls within the first eight minutes if the petrol usage is reduced. This will impact the ambulance service as they will not be able to answer all calls. This will also impact the policies, the police, as it will mean that they are under a lot of stress, but also will need to advance first aid skills to keep people alive. So when we say uh, it affect, it will impact the ambulance service, it's more in ways of that because they they can't you know answer all the calls that affects them emotionally as well. So they could be stressed or. You know, distressed or sad that they someone might have died because they haven't been able to get to them in time or something like that. So it's more than just about losing your job or money or there's also the emotional side of it. Well, so you think it kind of restrictions on you know petrol usage is going to impact on sort of nine 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 life or death calls, or do you think it would be some other areas that are more likely to be affected? I think the. Uh, well, petrol usage, usage, surely it wouldn't, you know, there's a, you've got to weigh it up, haven't you? So if it's a life or death situation, you'd have to kind of think, 
okay, we need we can put more petrol towards this, so that doesn't really affect us as much. But if it's something less important, then you can then you might be thinking, okay, we can't be using too much petrol, so maybe we leave this one. Yeah, like exactly. So the it's prioritizing, isn't it? So yeah. the less important calls, the sort of patient transport, things like that are where the sort of the reductions would be trying to be made, people driving to meetings, those kind of things. Much, much less likely that you know having controls on how much petrol is used is going to impact on life or death nine 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 calls that because that would really lead to public outcry, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah. So and yeah, rightly so. Okay. Yeah. Any more? No, I think it's all done. Oh, I want to see that picture. Oh, we got yeah, we got some pictures. I don't know what it's called. We're that. Fine and Dobby. Thanks, lads.